trip. This is Tatiana. We're from Mind Dash Body Play. Together we have over 25 years teaching experience of yoga and various forms of movement. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the snake stretch to develop a more flexible back. So the snake pose in yoga, commonly referred to as cobra pose, Tati, if you will, begins like so. On the stomach, palms underneath the shoulders or slightly outside the shoulders. As she presses down from the hands to lift her torso up, she's going to be very mindful, one, to keep her glutes loose. That's key. Also, if you have a tendency to lift the feet, actively press your big toes down into the ground. That's going to create stability in the lower part of the body. Squeezing the shoulder heads back. She stays here for a few breaths, two or three, and then pull your hands back as you lengthen down. That's going to create length in the spine. Again, pressing up, maintaining the looseness in the glutes, pressing the feet down, shoulders rotate back a couple of breaths, and then scrub the hands back as you lower your torso down. Four or five repetitions of this should feel some great decompression in the spine and also mainly retraining holding patterns to keep your glutes loose so you don't have this back discomfort in the first place. Again, I'm Tripp. This is Tatiana from Mind Body Play. We just taught you Cobra, so please go out and get your snake on. Namaste.